Yo, what is up everyone? Jay here and today I'll be ranking the Resplendent Heroes that were announced in 2020 for the first year of Fate Pass. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make this video because I think it'd be fun. And one thing I want to do more in this new year is just make more Farm of Heroes content along with my Smash videos. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd make this. And um, this tier list I actually made myself uh, because I didn't see any other tier list that had updated uh, Resplendents. Like it had most of them or only some of them only had a few so i just made my own uh i couldn't find a good portrait for eldigans so i kind of just screenshotted his uh like kind of cropped his and so his kind of his looks weird but we'll do what we can so yeah this is the tier list and uh i'll be ranking them based purely on design this is not unit viability or who got you know who improved the most from the plus two of all stats none of that this is just based on my opinion on how good I think they look. So, I mean, if we were going to base on unit viability, there'd be no point really because we all know Ellie would be at the top <laughs> for sure in terms of who benefited the most. But uh, yeah, so let's get into the list. Now, Fate Pass, you know, it's a very uh, controversial topic. A lot of people hate it. Some people like it. I personally uh, like it to an extent. I wish that some features were... Uh, free, but I understand paying for these cool costumes and in terms of the costumes. I like most of them uh, I like most of them generally. I know some people feel opposite a lot of people don't like them or just prefer the original art but uh, generally speaking I do like the uh, The mix up like, you know the new style that they put on these characters because I think it's really cool So yeah, uh, let's get started. I'll just go down the list. I guess uh, we'll start with all So all got his resplendent uh, very deserving of course one of the main lords uh but personally i did not like his art too much um i'm probably leaning towards putting him in c tier the reason being is because i think he just doesn't look as good as his regular version his regular version i think is just better and he looks a little too young uh he looks too baby i guess um so if i you know had an alm then i would just use the regular version of him because i think the regular art is really good so you know in the context of comparing it to the regular version that they had i don't think uh, respond alm is that good but that's my opinion like i said so yeah alm will be in the c tier um and that i think alm's art is um what is it based off of embla yeah and actually we can we can uh count this down so there's uh five niffle costumes Five Askier costumes, uh, three from Embla, four from Muspel, three from Hell, and three are from the Fairyland. So th that is the distribution. And actually, it's pretty uh, pretty balanced. So next on the list is Azura in her Niffle costume. Um, kind of in the same boat as Alm. I just don't like it too much. Not for the same reasons, but uh, yeah, I'll put her in the C tier. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of just how she looks. Uh, I know a lot of people think she looks pretty, but something about her face throws me off. Uh, so I'm not too crazy for it. When I first got Fate Pass, uh, her Resplendent was the one I didn't even get. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Azura's. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, that's Niffle. And uh, another Niffle garb is Sheeta, wife to Mars. Now, obviously, if you guys know me, I'm a little biased. So I'm going to have a little bias to, towards Arcanea, but I'm going to try not to be too biased towards it. But, of course, you know, you can't. I've heard, I heard, I learned something. Uh, growing up is that you can never be truly objective about things because everybody has a frame of reference everybody's got biases and i think that's true to a degree so but yeah with that being said uh she does, i think her art is really good so i'll put her in s tier and now her regular art was already really amazing uh and honestly i didn't think she needed like an art upgrade because you know with resplendent heroes you know the thing the, the thing that appeals is the the new art that makes them look better uh for most people from the original and then the stat boost but uh she does she does art really impressed me so i think i'll put her in s tier uh or a tier i don't know s or a it's fine i just put her in s um next is cordelia the i think she was the first along with lynn she was the first uh, resplendent uh cordy definitely got a really good up art upgrade in my opinion and uh i'll put her in b tier i think it's pretty solid uh you know Definitely better than the regular Cordelia. Less less derpy looking, I'd say. Uh, more Cordelia-like, more confident in uh, her art. So definitely deserving in that tier. 
So I, I think I'll put her in B. Uh, Delthea. Uh, this one's one of the fairy arts. This is, uh, you know what, I'm not even going to say the, the realm it's from. That's why I'm even saying fairy, so I'm not going to even attempt to say it. Uh, you guys know what I mean, but... Yeah, Delthea got the dark uh, nightmare dream thing. Uh, so I think hers is alright. Um, you know, I guess it's cute for herself, for her character. Uh, but I'll just put it in the same tier as Alm and Azura. Uh, not crazy for it. I guess it's cute for her. Um, like, when I saw the Resplendent, I wasn't like, OMG, it's way better than the original. Uh, you know, it's cute, I guess. So Delthea there in the C tier. Um, who's next? Another fairy, Resplendent. Uh, Erica. Erica, I think, has a really good one. It's really fitting for her. I don't know, wh I don't know what about it, but... It looks great for her, so I think it's in the A tier. I like Erica's a lot. You know, she's she was the first one to get a fairy uh, fairy costume, I think. So, you know, we'll have to see if her brother Ephraim gets a uh, gets a fairy costume too. Well, uh, which I'm kind of surprised uh, Ephraim didn't get one this year because one of the devs loves Ephraim, but her sister did. His sister did, and uh, I guess realistically, what Ephraim would get would probably be Muspel or something. A lot of the guys have it, or maybe Hell or something. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, if it's Fairy, that'd be hilarious <laughs> to match her sister. But yeah, the Fairy Gara before Erica, I think it's really cute and fitting for her. So I put it in A tier. Next, Elliwood, uh, the man who terrorizes you in Aether Raid's defense. Um, now, Elliwood easily, I think, got out of all these heroes, I think he got the best upgrade. Because Elliwood infamously, for the or how, however long it was until Fate Pass came out, had one of the most controversial dislike arts in the game. His eyes were too big, and, uh, you know, I tend to agree. And when he got this art upgrade, it's like, yes, this is what Elliwood looks like. Um, this this art definitely captures uh, the essence of Elliwood more. So in terms of uh, the Ellie and Elliwood, in terms of, you know, comparing it to the regular art, I definitely think it's S tier uh, easily. So Elliwood definitely up there. Next is his brother Hector. Now Hector has muscle art, and his is pretty badass, I think. Uh, it's really cool looking compared to his original art that kind of look had like a comic book style. Uh, that's what I call it. Um, and this one is uh, pretty cool. I mean, Hector looks good in pretty much everything. That fool's a handsome dude, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say it's in good enough for S tier, in my opinion. I think it's in A tier, uh, along with Erica. I think it's really cool. But not good enough to be an S. Uh, so yeah, Hector Resplendent. Uh, it's pretty cool, especially that it came right after Ellie Woods. All right, next is Ike. Ike, another character that I think just looks good in general in pretty much every version he has. Uh, Ike, I think, is S tier. This muscle version of him, uh, it captures uh, what Ike is about, his stoic demeanor. And uh, I don't know, it just fits him a lot. Because, you know, Ike is the blue flames, and then you have Muspel, which is the world of fire. So I think it fits a lot. And he looks, just look at him, he looks really, really badass. So definitely, I think, deserving of S tier because, like I said, captures the stoic essence of him. And the cool, kind of like the cool stoic badassness that Ike uh, gives. So yeah, I think Ike is there in the S tier. Next is Julia. I like Julia's art a lot, especially her attacking art. I think it's really cool. Um... Her regular art wasn't bad at all, but this was a nice, a nice uh, change of pace, I guess. Uh, I think it's deserving of A tier, along with Erica and Hector so far. Uh, yeah, so I put there, I put Julia there. Now next, Lind, my girl, uh, not biased at all. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, she is my profile picture. She's my favorite Fireball girl, along with May. And uh, when I, when she got her resplendent, I was so excited. I was like so excited because I didn't think she would get one so early. She was actually one of the first ones. Um, she got an Asker uh, costume sign. And I can't really complain because I think it looks really, really good on her. I mean, it's Lind. <laughs> She's going to look good in everything pretty much in my opinion. But um, if I was super biased, I would have put her in a separate tier and just said favorite. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, easily S tier. The reason why is, like I said, I think she looks really good. Regular version of Lin with Kipu's art, I think that looks good, but it's a little too, 
you know, it's a little too lollified, I guess. The eyes can be kind of huge. Um, you know, I like Kipu's style, but not it's not my absolute favorite. So when she got the Resplendent, I thought it fit Lind more. Uh, it was more fitting to her, and she looked more her age. Um, so that's the reason I liked it a lot. And I think uh, Asker Garb is pretty much perfect for her. So Lind, definitely an S-tier, my girl. All right, next, Lucina. Lucina. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Lucina's uh, Resplendent was easily the most controversial one uh, of this past year. And uh, it just wasn't great, man. Most people will agree with me. It was just not a great time uh, for Lucina fans, especially. So I'm going to put her in the D tier, the worst of them all. Just, she looks way too young. She looks like a toddler. She's so short. She looks like a four-year-old, five-year-old. I don't even know. Ten-year-old. It's just like, why did they go with this style? Now, the concept itself, the fairy uh, garb, is really cool. I like it. I think it fits, you know, the Dreamland uh, fairy thing. Uh, if you've seen Awaken if you played Awakening, you know, the butterfly thing, I think it fits a lot with her character. But in terms of what it looks like, this is not Lucina, you know? Why does Lucina look like a kid? <laughs> Like a literal toddler baby. I just don't get it, man. And then on that, on top of the fact that the artist, you know, was known to draw CP, I think. Uh, stuff like that. So it was just a huge mess. And I don't understand why they went with this art style for Lucina. I know some people are going to defend it and like it. But personally, I'm just not a huge fan of it at all. It's easily the worst one out of all of these. Uh, so Lucina fans got robbed. Because... <laughs> After seeing, you know, other resplendents, I remember seeing Lucina fans just crying in the corner because they were like, we could have got something cool, but instead we got Lucina that looks like a four-year-old. So I feel kind of bad. And uh, 2020 Fae was pretty rough for Lucina fans, you know, because, you know, Legendary Krom comes out, her dad comes out, outclasses her completely as a blue archer, pretty much. Um, and then she gets an alt with Summer Mia, but she's a sidekick, so she didn't get a main Summer alt. And then she gets a resplendent where she looks like a child. So it's been rough for Lucina fans. Um, so yeah, easily D tier, the worst, I think, sadly. And uh, I'm not even hating on Lucina. I think Lucina's a cool character. It's just a shame that she got this art style that was really just eh. Like, leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Um, but yeah, so there it is, Lucina in D tier. Next is Lynn. Lynn was the first resplendent alongside Cordelia. I think her art is really good. Lynn is one of those characters that looks good in pretty much every version of her. I mean, I guess that could be said about all these characters, because, you know, primal characters are attractive, of course. But, uh, yeah, Lynn, I think, is A tier. Easily. Really cool. Uh, fits her character a lot. Uh, this style is Niffle again. And, uh, yeah, I think it's easily A tier. I think it looks great. I mean, it's Kabune, though. Kabune, <laughs> Kabune makes anything look good, in my opinion. So, you know, easily A tier, so... Yeah, next, my boy Marth. My boy Marth. Now, when he got his Resplendent, I, I was excited, of course, but not as excited as when Lind got it, because personally, I'm not crazy over this art style. It's great, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't crazy for it. Um, I think Toby did a great job, though. But now, looking back, after Lucina got hers, and how Marth could have looked the same, <laughs> or could have looked like a four-year-old. Now, he does look younger than his regular version. He does look younger, but not that young. So I appreciate that they chose this style for Marth. And, um, you know, I said earlier, not trying to be biased, but I'm going to have to put him in an S tier because that's my boy Marth, <laughs> as you guys know. So, yeah, S tier. I think the art is good for him. It's definitely solid. And uh, his regular version by Wada Sajiko is obviously really amazing already on its own. So, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think that, uh, Marth can be anything less than uh, one of the best. So that's my boy Marth. Next, Minerva. Lady Minerva, the Red Dragoon. She has muscle art, and when her art came out, it was really sick, I think. it's Her art is really cool. Uh, very fierce looking. Because, you know, regular uh, Minerva has that aura of, like, you know, kind of seriousness, kind of, you know, regal. But now when she got this, it's like, oh, she's like fierce competitor kind of stuff. So... Um, I think it's really good, but not good enough to be an S. So I will personally put it in A tier, along with these guys. Really cool, though. Still really cool art. Um, so yeah. Um, 
next, Niles. Niles, a uh, character I'm not too fond of at all. Um, you guys know me, Fates is not one of my favorite Fire Emblem games. It's probably my least favorite Fire Emblem game out of all the ones I've played in terms of the world itself and the continent. Um, but I think Niles got a pretty good art upgrade uh, compared to his original. Um, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, I'd put it in... Uh, I don't know. Muscle art for him is, is good. It's good, for sure. But, I don't know. I'm going to put it either C or B. I'm not sure, though. Mm. If I'm going to base it on how I don't really like Niles as a character, I'd probably put it in C. But, I think his looks good, so I think I'll put it in B, actually. Um, yeah. I'm trying to put my bias aside, but yeah, I think I'll put him in B. Um, Niles got definitely got a cool art upgrade. He definitely needed it. So, yeah. Alright, next, Olwyn. The only character that got anything from Thracia 776 this year, which is crazy. Now, Jug Draw as a whole got a lot, but she was the only one from uh, Jug Draw to get anything. Or from Thracia to get anything. Uh, which is crazy. But yeah, Olwyn got a really good resplendent. She definitely needed it to compete with her brother, at least somewhat better. And uh, I like it a lot. It is. Uh, What's her style? It's um, Asker, so uh, just like Lind. So I think I think it's really good, um, but not good enough to be S tier. I think it's A tier. Yeah, I'll put it in A tier. She definitely looks great. Got the thunder thighs going on. <laughs> so yeah, definitely really cool. I think her art looks great. Um, next, Robin, the Chad himself. Robin, um, Hell Attire. I think he was the first one to get Hell Attire, yeah. Um, I like Robin a lot. I think he's really cool. But his art it just looks funny to me. There's something about it. It's his smile. That damn smile. He just looks, the like, out of all the resplendent, he looks the funniest one to me. <laughs> like, his art style just looks funny. Like, when I look at him, it looks like he's trying not to laugh. Or I'm not trying to laugh, at least. Um... So yeah, I would put Robin in B tier. Um, the hell design is sick though. Don't get me wrong, but it's just something about his face, uh, and like his robe, like his the robes that he's wearing, it looks like they're too big on him. It just looks funny. <laughs> Sorry if there's any Robin fans. I'm not trying to make fun of him. It just looks funny to me. Um, but yeah, Robin in B tier. Next, Roy the boy. Icy hot Roy from Niffle. Now. Regular Roy's art was already pretty good. I think it fit Roy a lot, you know, being the young lion that he is. And uh, this one's not bad at all. Uh, but I'm not really that crazy for it. Uh, so I'll put it in, like, C tier, I think. Yeah. I guess C or B, but I think I'll put it in C. Um, you know, in context with his regular art, I don't think it's that big of an upgrade. But uh, I know a lot of people are huge fans of it, but yeah. That's just my opinion. C tier for Roy. Next, Sanaki. Sanaki has straight up one of the best ones. Straight up one of the best. So easy S tier. Uh, when she got the Resplendent, I thought it fit Sanaki more. It looked more like Sanaki. And the colors of it were amazing. Like the vibrancy of her all of this Resplendent version, I think, was really cool. So easily Sanaki got one of the best, I think, um, for her. So... Yeah, S tier. Alright, we only got three left. Sophia. Now, Sophia is a character I actually... Uh, surprisingly, I do like her a lot. I like mage characters a lot. And when I played Binding Blade, uh, I kind of had a soft spot for her. And when she came out in Heroes, I was like, what is up with her neck? She's got like a giraffe thing going on. And then she got the Resplendent, and it looks amazing. Um, this one is... Uh, what style is this? This is Embla. So, I thought she... like. She's probably second to Elliewood in terms of getting an art improvement, uh, you know, comparing that to her regular version. So, you know, kind of having that weird, awkward, you know, nerdy neck thing. And if you got this, that made her look more cute and more like uh, Sophia. So I think uh, definitely S tier. Um, so, yeah, Sophia definitely deserving of that. Takami. Now, if you guys know me, Takami is a character I have a... I was going to say love-hate, but I mostly have a hate relationship with him because, first of all, I'm not a fan of his character too much. 
and the shared colors with my girl Summer Lind when I tried to post on her, and that was a nightmare. But uh, yeah, T Takumi has got a hell of tire, and I think it looks really cool on him. I think it does. Um, definitely looks pretty cool. I mean, the hell of tire in general looks really cool. Uh, I hope there's more of that in this uh, this year. But uh, yeah, I think it's B tier. Takumi joining the other face archer in the B tier. And last but not least, the most recent one. Now he's not even playable yet. He's gonna come out in uh, how many? I don't even know how many days are left until he comes out. But he was announced in 2020. Um, that's why the list is called announced in 2020. Uh, I could have left him out, but I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to include Eldigan, uh, or should I say Heldigan? And when he got Resplendent version, he definitely got one of the best. Easily one of the best arts. He looks badass. He looks like someone straight out of Castlevania. He just walked straight out of Castlevania. Like, literally. So, I think he's definitely S-tier. S-tier. Eldegan has great art. So, that is my tier list for the Resplendent Heroes of the first year of Fate Pass. Um, so, yeah. S-tier, pretty much my favorites. Uh, A-tier, ones I really like. B-tier, solid ones, in my opinion. C, meh. And then D, the worst. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's the list guys. Um, if you guys want to make it make your own tier list uh, I guess I'll leave it in the description. Like I said, I made this and um, Out of all the resplendents if you want to break them down uh, From continent or game slash world four of them are from Arcanea and uh, I guess I can think uh, I can thank the 30th anniversary of Fire Emblem this year that we got a lot of uh, Arcanea resplendents I mean who knows maybe we would have got still gotten them even if it wasn't the 30th anniversary um but yeah four of them are from arcanea two of them from valencia two of them from jogdral five of them from alib one from magville being erica two from Tellius, three from yalis and three from fates so that is the distribution in terms of uh in terms of continents and worlds and if you want to see uh every single seasonal all mythic i made a chart for this actually on twitter um yeah you want to see yeah for every seasonal all legendary mythic and resplendent released in 2020 this is the distribution in terms of continent world and then this is the distribution from games specifically like i said olwyn is the only one <laughs> that got something from thracia so yeah hopefully thracia gets more uh resplendence and stuff and more content of course and uh for arcanea of course i can't complain i'm very thankful so if they don't get much in 2021 you know I can't be too mad because I got a lot this year. And in terms of, you know, Faye, even though 2020 has been a dog shit year for most people and everyone, pretty much everybody, um, in terms of Fire Emblem Heroes, this has been my best year uh, in the game for what I've been able to accomplish and what I've received from the devs and what Intelligence System has given me. Like I said, uh, the Arcanea 30th anniversary definitely helped with that. So I've been really grateful and happy. So we'll see what 2021 has in store with this game. And uh, I hope more cool we get, yeah, I hope we get more cool resplendence. Uh, you know, can't wait to see what we'll get. So yeah, uh, that is the tier list. And um, like I said, if you guys want to make your own, feel free to, or leave your comments below what you think uh, are the best resplendence. And um, follow me on Twitter if you want for more Fire Emblem ramblings and stuff and me nerding out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please stay safe out there and let's have a great year. Peace.